And welcome back here to the Chaos TV studio. We've got Zelnaga Caverns loading it up because it is quarter finals time. We've got Grubby versus Unix, a PVT here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see this match go underway. We see Unix here spawning as the yellow Terran in the bottom left corner. Meanwhile, top right, Grubby as the green Protoss. And again, Zelnaga Caverns, you know, we did see DeVito's. Uh, Crevice, Scrap, Deathbug taken out by, by Grubby and leaving Cell, Metal, and Shattered. Um, we're not going to see them in that, those order. We're going to see at least Zelnaga Caverns and Shattered Temple. That said, you know, if it comes down to a tie-breaking map, Metalopolis will be loaded on up. Of course, this is Zota Cup number 52. I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys are enjoying the action so far as much as I am. We see Grubby here with the nine pilot, of course, going down and uh, yeah, TVP. We did see Grubby play a, a PVT a little bit earlier. He went for the uh, a one gate expo. So. Uh, yeah, quick expo then with with, uh, with the Robo Gate Gate to get more production out. We'll see if Grubby g um, goes for a similar strategy this time around as well. Because it's going to depend on what Unix does here. Waiting for that 12 racks to go down as soon as he'll have the minerals. There we go. 12 racks get thrown down. As well as the scouting SCV underway. 13 gate by Grubby, the typical option. Silk Runner boosting those probes. First gas going up, nothing out of the ordinary whatsoever yet. So yeah, quarterfinals here in Zotacom number 52. And yes, guys, this is the first time we're casting this live from uh, from the Chaos TV studios. So we do appreciate your feedback. By all means, uh, let us know what you think. Is there any issues we, uh, we need to work on? We'd... Uh, much appreciate your feedback. Grubby now with that probe, the killer probe, doing some harass here, going after the SCV. SCV running away, there we go. Making his way back in the middle line. Let's go for the SCV, he's in the gas. He's just picking up whatever he can, but he's not going to do too much damage. You know, the SCV for Unix is standing here. All those fancy, smancy patrol things. There we go, there's a patrol. Seven so score going down here for Grubby as well. And take note of Grubby Sim City, by the way. He always starts off here with the gateway and the Simon Air score right here in the back of this base. It looks like he wants to make a, a bit of a long wall, I guess. Here, really, honestly, it doesn't make much, this doesn't give much of a, a tactical diff uh, a diff a tactical advantage, I guess we should say. I guess he just wants to to make sure that there's not too many units here behind this mineral line, but at the same time, you're leaving this uh, this, this gap here still, so. I'm actually curious to see, uh, actually to get a response from Grubby as to why he builds it here, or just because it's convenient. Whether there's any thought going into that one. Do you see the concussive shells here not going down? So Unix is going to try that, uh, the early aggression for his Protoss. The one or two racks uh, aggression with concussive, it's it's can be devastating, it's rarely game winning. But you can at least force your opponent, your Protoss opponent, to make more army. There we go. We see that Grubby changing up his plays, going up to three gates already. He's got a second gas up. Meanwhile, second gas also up for Unix. Adding the second racks right now as well as the factory already. And now we see this concussive is done. Steam is underway. And Unix is going to check the front of Grubby. He's going to have one sentry out. He's going to have that force field in place. It's not going to be... Uh, be a problem unless he completely misses it. Warp gates are coming out reasonably soon as well. And force field for the free S oh the free SCV kill there. And a force field to get the stalker alive. Textbook, so to speak. Warp gate finishing, uh oh, maybe maybe just a little late, but he's okay. He didn't have the energy for the force field, but then again Unix didn't really have the units to push in there up the ramp either. Oh, and look at that forward pile on here. Grubby warping in a lot of units already. Is he going to try to... He's definitely going to try to do some damage here. He's going to pick up one of these units. Free Marauder there. Marine goes down as well. We're going to see a pile on here at the ramp as well. Bunker's already in position though. This is a bit of a problem for Grubby. You really can't break this front. Second bunker now going down. Third bunker, actually. 
And double starport play here by Unix. Uh, I'm kind of wondering. There we go. There's the tech labs going out. <laughs> it's kind of dubious there how long you waited on it. Rarla's still three getting now. Robotics facility going on down. As soon as you see a bunker at the front of a Terran, you can kind of expect some kind of Banshee play very often. So Grubby, of course, knows that. Reinforcing his contain now and at the same time preparing for Banshee. There we go. Guardian Shield going down. Is he actually going to try to go up here? Oh, he's going to go up the ramp. He's going to go after the bunker. He takes down one, but the unit's just leapfrogging into the other bunker. Force is being used to make repair impossible on this bunker. Then again, this is the second bunker, this last bunker, not going to be repaired either. The repair now going down, and he does force Grubby to back away. But heavy damage being done there regardless. Then again, heavy damage taken by Grubby as well. I'm not sure what he really got the great value out of this. And if Unix manages to repair the bunker, he, he's definitely going to be in good shape. Meanwhile, though, of course, the expand already down for Grubby. Grubby is now on two base. So he's somewhat content. We do see the, there is a Raven underway as well as a Banshee. And again, up the ramp goes Grubby. He's going to try to pick off whatever he can. Is he going to just walk by this bunker? He could. No, he, he decides to fall, fall back after all. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure this, these force fields were well placed here. I guess he just wanted to clear up as much bio as he could. Force fields here likely could have uh, prevented any kind of repairs and could have taken out this bunker. But oh, Grubby, Grubby falling back and... Uh, He's content with the damage he did. We do see the robotics bay now going down here for Grubby. As well as the gateways. It's going to be up to 4 gate now. Of course, he has the income to support that kind of production as well. But I'm kind of wondering what's going to happen when that first Banshee does come out. Well, nothing right now. I mean, it's floating in, in the main. But more Banshees now underway. We see that cloak not being researched. Is there any observers out, actually? I haven't seen any. There is one out. There we go, floating into the main right now. Taking a little bit of damage there because he got a little too close to the Raven and the Raven chasing him out. Tango down. Then again, let's see what kind of inf info. Well, uh, you know, really he spotted the Raven, he spotted the Banshee, he saw everything he needs to anyway. A little salvage here on the bunker, it's a little bit dangerous, but Grubby decides to fall back. Yeah, this is this is the point where Grubby likely just wants to, to get his Colossi count up significantly and uh, go for that quick, that that beastly Protoss death ball. It's gonna add a Stargate in as well. There we go. No Chrono Boost there on the the extended thermal lens. He's got ev all the time in the world apparently to get that done. Unix now finally going for the expand as well, trying to be up at two base. More and more Banshee. Banshee's now queued up here while this one is sitting still. That's not good play. No matter how you put it, you know, this Banshee could already have been building. Well, regardless, he's still stuck in a food cap anyway, so I guess I couldn't have build, been building, but still. It's not good practice. You know, we do see that Grumpy's uh, Stalker count actually not significant. Only three Stalkers out. So, a heavy Banshee composition could do significant damage if he actually makes. Uh, if he's actually able to take down the Stalkers. Oh, this probe is now scouting exactly what is up. Well, let's see what actually goes for These Banshees right now target firing the Colossus. Everything is target firing the Colossus. The Colossus is going down right away. We do see Phoenix coming on out here to, of course, deal with these Banshees as well. We know Bio completely force fielded into oblivion. And cleaned up very nicely done by Grubby. Was a bit risky though, you know, he had to warp in more stalkers. His composition was not what exactly uh, well, was not exactly what you wanted it to be. That's why he did lose that Colossus to the Banshees very quickly. So Major Terrestrial now going down and more and more Phoenixes being added on. Interesting play there, to end the Phoenixes. Picking off the SCV there and stopping the, the barracks from being built for just a little while. Taking down a Viking. Oh, there we go. You gotta love the ice skating there, managing just to keep it alive only barely. You gotta consider the huge range of the Vikings when you're uh, microing your Phoenixes against Vikings. 
becomes very tough once you're committed to actually get away. There we go. One Colossus now and uh, a good number of Phoenixes in this composition. Taking out the factory here. Of course the factory being used as a spotter. Now on fire but not quite... Uh, not quite burning down all that rapidly yet. Well, I'm hoping Unix sends actually uh, decides to repair this. Or, yeah, there we go. There's the SV ready to repair. And Grubby knows now, hey, I've got this uh, this forward positioning. I'm in good shape. I can do whatever I want. And apparently what he wants is to get a third. Third in a very awkward position, but, you know, expanding there, that means likely it's not going to get scouted right away. The Phoenix is now going for the Rast, taking out the mules there. Nicely done, stopping, halting uh, a lot of the eco of Unix. There we go, now the Orbital Command under attack, and look at that, Force Field's already going down, just to wall off the opponent from this Orbital Command. The wall off the there from his own command center. The SCV's being pulled there, the SCV's actually absorbing a lot of damage, but oh my god, Colossi just melt any kind of non-mech or uh, non-air units. Colossi doing so much damage here, nice little play here, at least with uh, the Marauder, she's making the most of it. But the Marauder count now is dwindling, and the thing is, he's got these Vikings out, and there's not that many Stalkers left actually take out these uh, these Vikings. Regardless though, nope, good game is called by Unix. Grubby wins his map choice here in the quarterfinals. Second map we'll see ya is coming up uh, is coming up uh, is coming up next. We're gonna see Shattered Temple. So once again Unix and, and Grubby gonna duke it out. 1-0 to score. We'll be back shortly with more Zota Cup number 52 quarterfinal action.